This video is designed to help you know how to search for multiple words or for strings in the WTM. The first thing you do, let's say that you're in Genesis 1-1. You notice in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. You wonder how many times do God and create occur in the same verse. So the easiest way is to copy and paste from the WTM to the command line. I type a period to begin your AND search. Come down to the WTM, highlight uh, create, the verb bara, over to the at sign, control C for copy, control V for paste, delete the extra space, go to the end and hit an asterisk. Uh, maybe put V for verb so that it knows you're looking for a verb, and then uh, hit the escape key to get rid of the drop down, hit the space bar for another word and then we're going to copy Elohim go ahead and get the N in there from that control V go to end key asterisk and there we have a search that says find bara and Elohim in the same verse hit the enter key and find that there are 12 verses that have bara and Elohim when you do a and search for two words the hits information are going to is probably going to be unhelpful. For example, look in Genesis 127. The verb bara occurs three times in that verse, but Elohim occurs two times. So how does Bible Works get six as the hits? Well, it counted each occurrence of Elohim with uh, the first occurrence of Elohim with each occurrence of bara, so that's the first Elohim plus bara, that's three. The second Elohim plus every occurrence of bara, and came up with six, which is why the hits information won't be helpful when you're looking for multiple words. There is a tool in BibleWorks that allows you to do multiple word searches more easily. If you click on this second button called the button bar setup, scroll down to the very end of the left options choose command line assistant and click add close this you now have on your toolbar the command line assistant this if you want to do a compound search click the compound search and this then allows you to type in one word on the first line another word on the second line and another word on the third line to learn how to do the searches so let's say I wanted to look for all occurrences of, for example, Yahweh, YH, click in the button, YH, WH, and the verb bara, BRA, but I don't want the word to have Elohim in it. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to copy Elohim out because I don't remember where all the vowel points are. Control, copy, there we go. Now I've got Elohim and I can drop this down and say none of these words. Let's go to the beginning, get rid of that extra space. Okay. So, I want to find Yahweh in any order, Bara in any order, but not Elohim this is what the search looks like on the command line eventually I'll learn how to do this on my own now if I had put bara Yahweh and bara up in the first line and gotten rid of the second search I can put as many words as I want on the first line this finds Yahweh now I suspect this won't work because Yahweh needs its foul point since it's a foul point sensitive search but let's try it's working and it did work apparently Yahweh's uh, lemma doesn't have vowel points so here are all the places where Yahweh and Barah occur where Elohim does not occur in the verse 